Welcome to Zexpress. Today, let's focus into how to connect your Namecheap domain to your Shopify store. A custom domain is a key element in building your brand identity and credibility online. If you're purchasing a domain from Namecheap and you're looking to set it up with your Shopify store, you are in the right place. Let's walk through the steps to get your custom domain into running with Shopify. So why connecting a custom domain to Shopify? Using a custom domain for your Shopify store not only enhances your brand, but also makes it easier for customers to find and remember your store. It's a crucial step in professionalizing your online presence. Before we start, you want to make sure that you have access to your name cheap account and your Shopify admin studio panel. I'm going to leave you both links down below in the description so you can have your free Shopify store and your free name cheap account. So both of them are already been imported though. So let's prepare our name cheap domain. First of all, let's log into your name cheap account. Go to your domain section and go for domain section list. In this case, domain list. Let's click now into domain. As you can see here, we have our domain already been purchased and the status is active. So you will need to ensure that your domain DNS settings are configured correctly in order to get started. In most cases, name chips default DNS settings are fine, but it's good to check. Now adding your domain to Shopify. Now switch back into Shopify. Once you are in here, navigate to your online store Click into settings, click into domains, and then what you want to do is to connect existing domains. Now here what you want to do is to enter your domain name. You don't have to worry if you don't remember it because you just need to copy and paste it in here. Let's get into next. Now what you want to do is to choose the option that says verify connections. Let's update the DNS settings into name chipped. Of course, this one is going to appear as a domain connection incomplete. So what you wanted to do is to get started by importing all of this information into Namecheap. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go back into Namecheap. Let's go here and to manage your URL that you uh, purchased your domain. Now here into manage, what you wanted to do is to get started by adding some records. First of all, let's go into advanced DNS. Directly into advanced DNS, you can choose the option that says Shopify. Now here into your Shopify, usually what you want to do is to choose the option that says plus, OK, continue. And here, what you want to do is to only go back and the one that says a record name at current P address. I'm going to copy this required value and I'm going to paste that in here. And let's go for save changes. Now, the second one should be www.shopify.com. Usually, it's going to be uh, added automatically. So, save all the changes and change this from domain type into primary domain. So, verify the connection into Shopify. After updating your DNS settings, it may take a few hours for changing to the proper gate. Once this happens, you go back into your Shopify, verify your domain. This ensures that your domain is correctly pointing to your Shopify store. If everything is set up correctly, your domain status will show as connected into Shopify. In this case, what I wanted to do is to just make sure that I can go back. I reload my page. I reload this one once again, the name cheap. And there you go. And that's it. You have successfully connected your name cheap domain to your Shopify store. This connection is a big step forward to establish your store identity and enhance your brand online presence. If this guide on connecting a nail cheap domain was helpful, please like and subscribe to Express for more e-commerce tutorials. If you have any questions or tips about getting set up into domains, you can share them into the comments below. Thank you for watching and we wish you to great success with your Shopify store. Stay tuned for more practical e-commerce guides. See you on the next video.